hardcore. I know, right? A total boner. And just wait, just wait till you see what she can do. No way! Is that fine or what? Hey, let me see. What the hell is going on? Yeah, it's a great sofa. Thanks to Todd. You're not fooling anyone. I'm not trying to. Can you get that? Why me? Because... please? It's probably another cappuccino maker from Todd. Come on, okay? I'm in a not... really good part, please. You know, I'm your roommate, not your houseboy, okay? Remember that. Uh... <sighs> yeah. Thank you for meeting me. No, no problem. What's so urgent? Well, I wanted to introduce you to the new me. Zen Todd. Oh, dear. To what do we owe this transformation? Well, we didn't get a chance to talk about it because we got sidetracked talking about the paper, but I went to see Victor to bury the hatchet. I heard. You did? Yeah. Well, that new reporter of yours really is good. No, Victor told me. Do you think he's going to go for it? I think that Victor has been through some kind of hell, and I think that he might just be ready to make peace, even with you. He does seem a little strong, yeah. I think you know that I would do nothing better than for the two of you to work out some kind of detente, right? But? But. Oh, come on, I have to ask. Is this for real? Or is this just the old Todd being the new Todd? Who's really just the old Todd? Where were you? Just there for a while. Good. <laughs> How are you? Oh, Danny won't call me back. God, she hates me. She doesn't hate you. It's not you, it's... Victor, I, I basically disowned her last year. After everything that happened, after I lost our son, <laughs> I practically walked away from my responsibilities as a mother. I was no longer interested in the job. So yes, Danny may want her freedom, but she also wants to punish me. And you know what? I don't blame her. <sighs> and I have something I have to tell you. And you're not gonna like it. Get out of town. You just got back. I know. I thought I would have more time. What changed? Nothing I can tell you. <laughs> You're starting to scare me. Is someone after you? Honey, the less you know, the better. Stop patronizing me. You're not going anywhere until you tell me what the fuck is going on! as far away from you and the kids as possible. People with people. I, I can help you. No, I, I know, I know this is hard. This is, I know. I don't want to leave. It's not safe for me. It's not safe for you. Listen, They're after me. Are they here? Are they in Landview? I don't know, but I can't risk them following me here. You understand? All right, I'm calling, though. No, no. You have to let me do this my way. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Dropping off Drew. 
our our son. Yeah, you can't just drop in like this and dump him on me, okay? I actually have plans. Oh yeah, so. you've got a hot date with his Skype girlfriend. <laughs> That's not true. <gasps> Whatever, don't worry. I knew you're useless. Danny agreed to help me out. Hi, you're so cute. <laughs> Come on in over here. Oh, you are totally saving me. Oh yeah, no problem. Here, let me take. My sitter has the flu, or so she says. Hi, baby. <laughs> well, you look amazing. Oh, thank you. Not you, dork. Oh, but I do look pretty good, admit. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> Not as fine as you, though. Thank you. What is this? <laughs> Just the most awesome gaming computer ever. Yeah, you know, some say the Velocity Raptor might be cooler. But they're wrong, am I right? That's cool. What's it doing in the living room? She's totally right. We should take this baby to the uh, den. No way, this baby's going in my room. Then you'll mm -hmm. never let me play. You're not playing no matter where I put it. This thing's not for babies. I'm not a kid and I can whip your ass any day of the week. Hey, 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 no talking like that. And nobody's gonna whip anything. Not until I find out where this came from. Guys, this does not look cheap. Oh, it was not. It's, oh my gosh. This cost more than my first car. Where did you get the money? How did you afford this? I gotta hit the road. I gotta meet my crew. Jack, you, me, Halo, later. Yeah, okay. You know, 2003 called, they said they want their video game back. Oh, burn! Good one, brah! Watch. Uh, uh, uh. Jack, you gonna answer me? You just chill, Mom. I didn't spend my college savings on this. And you know, I didn't even use your credit card. Well, that's good to know. Where did it come from? It was a gift. From? From... Todd. What? Okay, you know what? Pack it up. Pack it up. You're gonna send it back. No! no. What brought about this change of heart in regard to picture? My kids hate my kids. I think it is a very strong word. I killed the man they thought was their father. I mean, granted, you stole my life, but it's not their fault, is it? No, it's not. And I realized he may be a lying, manipulative louse, but he's their louse. Your empathy knows no bounds. Thanks. I started to think that, you know, I gotta be the bigger guy, right? I gotta offer an olive branch. And then if the kids can see that Victor and I can make peace, then who knows, maybe they'll forgive me. That is big of you. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I know there's more to it than that. No. Danny O'Deed. Jack hates my guts. My kids are screwed up. It's partly my fault. If making peace with Victor will fix any of that, then I'm gonna give it a shot. Promise me you won't call Bull or anyone else for that matter. I won't promise you anything until you tell me where you're going. I don't know. But even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you for your own good. <laughs> I held you in my arms the night Todd shot you, okay? You died in my arms! I zipped you into a body bag. I lost you and our son within the space of one year. And then by some miracle, you come back to me and now you're gonna leave me again? Back in the first place. Don't say that! Well, I should have taken care of this business. I should have taken care of it a long time ago, but I just could not wait another second to see you and the kids. And I came back and I was just gonna stay out of sight. I was just gonna see if you were okay, but then I was at the, the, the club and I saw Danny collapse and I saw you guys at the hospital and I saw Todd giving you a hard time. So you weren't gonna come back? Not then. <laughs> Sweetheart, coming back to see you has saved my life. But if I don't leave now, there may never be a future for us. If I let you go, when you come back to me, it'll be for good, right? Right? If I come back, I will never leave you again. I swear. If. 
I'm not gonna lie to you. These people are dangerous. Please let me help you. No. Let me help you. No! You have got to trust me! This is the only way! I'll let you leave on one condition. You say goodbye to the kids. You think this is hard for me? <sighs> it's gonna kill them. There's no time for goodbyes. Bullshit, you're just scared. It's only gonna upset them. No, you know what's gonna upset them? Them waking up tomorrow morning and you're not there. I can't tell them anything. I can't tell them where I'm going. I can't tell them how dangerous it is. You know what the worst part of last year was? Having you ripped out of their lives so suddenly without having had a chance to say goodbye to you. You cannot do that to them again. If, God forbid, hey. something were hey, to hey, happen, hey. if something were to happen and you didn't have a chance to say goodbye to them. What would you have me tell them? What would you like me to tell them? Well, tell them something good. Because apparently, you may never see them again. Where are you going tonight anyway, hot date? Uh, no. No. I have work. Oh. To my mom for the 17th time. Um, you should get it. Yeah. What? I'm busy. Hey, do you want me to see if I can get him to take a nap in the bedroom? Oh, you don't have to. Well, it'll be quieter in there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Come here, little man. Careful. I got him. What's up, buddy? Seems good with kids. He's just trying to impress you. God forbid someone would want to do that. I am so sorry. Is everything okay? I don't really know. She didn't say. She just said that um, I have to be there right away and that Victor needs to talk to me. Oh. Sounds weird. Yeah, she's always weird, but she sounded serious. You should go. What about Drew? Don't worry, I mean, Matthew can take care of it. Can't you? I don't have any plans tonight. Oh, it's, it's not your responsibility. I'm happy to. Uh, I think I could take care of my own son. I'm keeping this. Your father thinks that he can just solve every problem by throwing cash at you. Well, maybe he's right. No, he is not right, because money doesn't equal love. Well, we love this computer. Sweetheart, you don't love this. This is a thing. An awesome thing. Hey, guys, can you both stop touching it, please? Please, you're getting your fingerprints on it. Listen, Jack, I want you to have a relationship with your father. I do, but I don't want him to feel like he can just buy your affection. Hey, I, I didn't tell him to buy this, but he went out and got it anyway. All right, well, what changed your mind then? How cool it is? Nothing. He can't buy me. Good. But he can buy this. I don't see why I shouldn't get to keep it. Yes! You know, Danny's got the right mind when it comes to dealing with Scarface. You gotta milk him for all he's oh, worth. Oh, that's terrible! Man. That is a terrible way to look at things, Jack! Why? It's not like he can't afford it. Besides, he owes me for screwing up my life. Don't you get attached, young man. But... No buts. No. Just going back. Uh, that was Taya. She said she wants us to go over and talk with Dad. But it's dinner time, sweetheart. Yeah, it's not gonna take long. Dad just wants to say something to us. Sam, let's go. You know me better than anyone, sis. Yeah, I also know Victor, and I know that both of you have a very difficult time with forgiveness. You said anything about forgiveness? What did you think Olive Branch means? I think it's a prop. I'm never gonna forgive that son of a bitch for what he took from me, but I can sure as hell pretend. And there's the Todd I know. And love. How's that fun to yours, Todd? Um, don't ask. <laughs> I have to go take care of uh, some other headaches now. Listen, if you play at forgiveness long enough, it might just become real. I'll consider myself. fine piece of machinery you sent over. Oh, Jack likes it. I don't think anybody with a Y chromosome could resist. So, uh, he's, he's really happy? Well, he was negotiating the whole mom issue when I left, but, you know, women don't understand these things. He seemed thrilled to me.
So what's the big announcement? You guys getting married again? Could that be the best man? The best man? It's a pretty good idea, Zeke, but no, it's not what we're here about. Yeah. Sam, that's not what we called you here for. Well, what's up? I'm supposed to be babysitting right now. It's not going to take long. I just want to let you guys know that I have to leave town for a while. But you just got back. I know. But it can't be helped. What's so important? It's some work that I have to take care of. When are you going? Tonight. Well, when are you coming back? It's hard to say exactly. We could still play the game Call of Duty, the game we taught you. We could play against each other remotely. I'm not sure I'm good enough for that, buddy. I'll help you. Actually, I don't know that I'm going to be able to play at all where I'm going. You don't have life. Well, don't you get it, Sam? He's leaving us again. Hey, 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 wait a minute. You're right, I am. Hold on. I just want you to know that I love you more than anything. Don't forget it. Whatever. I, I, I would not be doing this if I didn't absolutely have to. Yeah, well, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Can I go now? I need to... Of course you can. It's not a big deal. I, I, I'm just saying goodbye for now. The hardest part of last year was knowing that you guys thought I was dead and that you were suffering. I don't want to put you through that again. See you when you get back. All right, Sam, let's go. We're going to be late for dinner. Hey, Jack. Why don't you give Todd a chance? Sorry. Never. It's okay that we can play when you get back. Good dinner. He's finally asleep. Hopefully you won't hear a peep from him until Stop I can pick him up. Stop worrying. He said I'll handle it. Excuse me if my confidence is a little shaky. Hey, I'm helping you out, okay? You're staying home with your sleeping son for one night. Right. I'm staying home. Um, only because Danny had to leave. Yeah, I said you could go. <sighs> Enjoy your night off. Night off? Yeah. You must be joking. I go to school online during the day so I can stay home with him, and then I go and work at night so I can pay rent, tuition. Right. I it's not easy. That's why I didn't want to have a kid. Well, maybe you should have thought about that when you didn't wear a condom. Yeah, well, maybe you should have thought about that before you decided to change your mind about an abortion. How dare you! Hey, I love him! Stay out of this! Wake up. Stay out of this! <laughs> I love you, And I wouldn't change a thing except for this! Just go on your date. I go. keep telling you it's not a date! Whatever, I don't care. Just go, okay? <sighs> I don't have time for dates! I'm going to work. Oh yeah, where exactly do you work? Uh, I work at the Banner. I run ads at night. Mm -hmm. And how long you been doing that? Months. If you cared to ask, you would know. Sorry, I didn't realize. <sighs> you didn't realize because you don't give a moment's notice to me or your son. I told you I didn't want to be part of your yeah, life. Yeah, and I heard you loud and clear. But I will not let you judge me about how I'm living my life with my kid. Call me if he needs his mom. Quite a woman, your baby mama. Oh, don't start. Man, can't you see that she's struggling? Yeah, she doesn't have to, okay? Bo will take care of her and Drew. Is that Bo's job? Hey, lay off. I barely make enough money for this place as it is. All I'm saying is I know how hard it is to be a single mom, okay? Oh yeah? You watch a lot of Ben and Kate? Hey, douchebag, I lived it, okay? My mom worked her ass off for me and her life sucked as a result, so just give Destiny some slack, man. But why don't you just stay the hell out of it, hmm? So what, you knocked her up and you don't want to have anything to do with her or the kid, but no one else can care about your oh, girl? Oh, you're out of line right now. And how did I never see what a spoiled rich brat you are? Screw off! I would, but who's gonna watch your kid? I don't need your help. <laughs> what you did? Good luck with that.
Well, if it isn't Santa Claus himself. Jack's not here, so you can't bask in the afterglow of your tech porn. Okay, but he, he got my gift, right? Yes, he did, and he was suitably impressed. What about you? Not so much. Ah, yeah, well. You always were hard to please. You just didn't know how. That's not how I remember. Okay, you can go. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. I, I, I want you to know that I, I heard what you said, seriously, and I'm doing everything I can to try and repair things with Jack. So this is your solution? You buy him an expensive toy? You're right. It's kind of a cheap shot. Yeah. If you want, I'll take it back. Well, that's Jack's decision. And? Well, he doesn't know yet that money doesn't solve everything. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll teach him then. Oh, you, maybe you could get Donald Trump over here and give him some pointers on a frugal living. That sounds great. Uh, okay. I, I'm not sure you understand just how far I've gone to try and make this right your chance. Impress me. I buried the hatchet with Victor. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I figured that the only way to, to prove to the kids that, that I was worth forgiving was to try and smooth things over with him. Even if you are telling the truth right now, it's never going to work because Jack is never going to believe well, what you. What if Victor and I show him how it's done? It. What then? You just don't understand. Okay, fine. No, I don't. I don't get it. Tell me. Please. Your son is you. Being with you again, it brought me back to life. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thank you. Don't ever regret coming back, okay? Do what you need to do. But come back to me. Promise me you'll come back to me. I promise. I'll always love you. In my dreams I found I'll never I'm not.